Michael Salon in San Francisco and this is Russ Thompson. He is the owner of the salon and we're not cutting any hair today. No. No. We're talking about business. Business. So we've got a lot of questions today about how the economy is affecting our stylists in America and all over the world and how are they going to make money in these times. Great. Well, I'm glad that you asked that question because right now we are in trying times and things Things are changing a lot in the way our clients are looking at spending money on themselves and spending money on these type of services is changing. And what we have to remember is that we are, cannot place ourselves in a, in a position where we're a commodity, where our clients are comparing us as a price situation. We try very hard in our salon when people walk in or when people call in to not give an exact price for a certain service. We actually ask that they come in or sit down with one of our stylists and have a consultation. So we can move that service out of a price commodity and make it about the quality of the service and what you're going to get for that money rather than just being set price. So the first thing I'd like to talk to you about today is uh, client building, client relationship building. And this is so important right now because people are so used to working online and doing everything online and buying everything online that when they finally come into a salon or into a business, they want to feel like they have a relationship there. They want to feel connected yes, to that space. there's a void because of the internet. There's not enough face-to-face -face contact. So they're, they're doing all their interactions through email or MySpace or Facebook. So how do you add friends onto your real life salon? It's important to create a system and everybody can do a different system. We have a system here that we work on. Will you share it with us? Yes, What's your love system? To share it with Does you. everyone here use it? Everyone okay, here uses so the let's system. hear it. So our system starts with the front desk. Now, uh, there was a study that was recently done, and uh, the top two reasons for people leaving salons, surprisingly enough, number one is cleanliness. Cleanliness, so immaculate in here. From the moment I walked in, smelled clean, looked clean, clean person greeting me at the door, used the restroom, very clean, very. And a lot of it is not even, you know, a lot of times we think we clean the salon, but a lot of it's perceptive cleanliness too. And it's important that when you sit a client in your chair, that you have given them the same clean station that the first client of the day got. So between each client, even if you're running late, a client's not going to remember that it took you a minute more because that's about how long it takes to sweep your station, blow the hair off your station, reorganize your products, make sure there's no dirty towels on the station. That takes about a minute. A client's not going to remember that extra minute, but what they are going to remember is that they felt like they were sitting to a dirty spot. It's true. And then that's the number one reason why they don't come back. So what's the second one? The second one is rude front desk. Rude or unhelpful. So it's very important to create systems at the front desk and make sure that you hire and support the front desk yes. to be you friendly. Right. So we make sure that we address people by name because that is very important and you try to use somebody's name during a service as much as possible. Most of all, that is amazing. So we make sure everybody's greeted with a smile and by their name and then we make sure that each client, each new client to the salon gets a tour of the salon and we take them through the entire salon and explain the environment and what's available to them. We show them where we have a little bar. Wow, okay, so, so let's see what that tour is like. So you want to come in yeah. and I'll give you the tour? Thank you. 
And so you greet them by name, or the receptionist? We make sure the receptionist Hello. greets them by M -E -E. name. E, nice to see you. Yes. So we first introduce them to the products that we carry, and at this point we're carrying Purology and Lenoral Grail, and we use those products because they're more naturally based and they're in line with what we want to create in the yeah. salon. We, this salon used to be an art gallery before it became a hair salon, and so we've tried to keep that art gallery feel. So we have rotating artists uh, every two months, and we have receptions for them, and that creates a little bit of buzz and excitement and gets clients in here that we wouldn't normally see. So as we move through this space, when we, when we go past 